what made you because you said obviously that you know she had the characteristics the qualities etc 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 but were you ready at that time to settle down like yes, in sir. that in that season were you ready to settle down already or did she just you know what i mean go for it you know it's crazy i was on hinge a dating app when i probably mm. shouldn't have been on, it, on that dating app i was like a few months out of my last relationship at the time and i knew i was like mm, I, I shouldn't be doing this because previous like, like during that time when i first gotten out i was walling out i was doing like five dates a week bro i was just like out here on the doubt and then i got tired of it you, was like, you know what let me just relax I'll delete the app next week. Literally, a couple of days before I was about to get off the app, that's when she messaged me. And I was like, okay, sure, let's make it happen. She looked, she looks like um one of the daughters from Black Lightning. The Which one? Daughter. Um Hello, the older one. The, the oldest one. Oh, oh, oh no, Nessa? What? Nessa? When I Nessa I'll send what? The- I'll say all the pictures. I promise you. All not. respect to you, bro. Just saying. You know what right. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to go in for a second. Right. <laughs> she is gorgeous. Bro, when I tell you, I, I thought it was a bot at first. I thought it was like one of those like um, program or whatever. I was just like, okay, this is not real. She started talking about the Holy Spirit. And she started, because I asked her what book she was reading. And the book was called The Holy Spirit. I was like, mm. okay. Hold on, <laughs> what's going on? Things just started to really match up really quickly. We started really getting into like what we believed, our values, and basically it seemed to really match up, especially like with culture and stuff like that. Like she has a bunch of Nigerian friends, a bunch of like African friends and stuff like that. So then that was easier for me to be able to connect with her because my ex was also Haitian, but she's also Haitian. So I was like, okay, this, we can make this happen. You know what I mean? Like. Our interests weren't necessarily like all the way synced in, but the way that her Thank mind you. works is that mm. she'll be open to doing whatever it is. And then I'll also be able to reciprocate. So that's not even an issue there. So like on every level in terms of our values, our faith, our goals, even are similar, being able to understand one another, mm. it seemed like, okay, let's make it happen. I don't, I don't really have time to really waste here. Like, there's nothing else that I actually need. Right? Like, of course, there's small things, but like in every area that could be worked on, I saw potential. Amen. And I saw like, okay, um, I'm not sure if this is going too fast, but I'm ready to lock it in. After a couple months, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. Streets mm-hmm. is not for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but at the time, if you ask me, was I ready? I was not. Mm. That's how it be, be, you know, that's how it be. <laughs> mm. I'm just saying, man, like, I shouldn't have been out there. I should not have been on the <laughs> Well, but how would you have met your love if you hadn't been on the map? Exactly. So? Right? So then, like, I'm not sure what the, exactly the right answer is, but I think it's always best to be, at least be open to see what mm. else is out there. Man, I just wanted to say, um, Nessa, if you're watching this, just by the chance <laughs> that you are watching this, Nessa, you know what I mean? I know you're playing a character at the moment, which is unfortunately, yeah, but you know what? I just want to admit that I am a big fan of yours. You know what I'm saying? A very big fan of yours. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. That makes, that makes, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah. You know, go for it, You got a question in it? Because I know you got a question. No, wait, 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 just... before you do, before you do, hold that question. Think, hold it, question, hold it, hold it, hold the question. It's one more question for individual. Because someone asked, one of the ladies asked this question. They asked, is it okay for ladies to make the first move? Because you, the, the, you just told a story and she messaged you first. So technically... So was it a move or was it just a question? What did the, was it a move? Technically, you can, on Hinge, you can like other people. She okay. claims that, like, by doing that, it was technically making the first move. But it was still me who started the, the conversation. So that's our like our little like banter back and forth. But even if she had messaged me first, I would respect it. Like, I think it takes a lot of courage for a woman to step out of what's considered her comfort zone to then make the first move. To me, that shows that she's confident. To me, that shows that she's just putting herself out there. Would I necessarily opt for that all the time? No. But I think it was it would be commendable if she had just to be able to say, hey, I feel like I would respect that. Um, and it also like gives me the green light that this person is definitely interested. 
sometimes the way that women can approach men can come off as desperate or aggressive. And that's definitely uh, not necessarily attractive. But if mm -hmm. you can just approach a, like a, a regular human being and be open to me continuing the conversation and taking things over from there, mm -hmm. I think that's perfect because all you have to do is make yourself known. And mm -hmm. I think that's the only approach that women need to do. Once a woman makes herself known, that's all you have to do in terms of making the first move. Love that. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you 100% on that. 100%.